Over 1,000 people submitted audition videos. We narrowed it to 24, you voted for your favorite, and the top five were selected. I'm Aaron Marino, and this is the Alpha M Project. Hello, my name is Nathan Cunningham, and I live in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm 27 years old, married, and I have a son who will be three in November. My wardrobe right now is almost primarily slacks and polos. Not only that, it's the exact same polo in multiple colors and the exact same pair of slacks in multiple colors. The reason I deserve this makeover is because my life has been full of struggles. I have three brothers and we grew up with a single mother. My dad left when I was two, and my younger brother's dad ended up being a drug addict who abused us in every way he could. Um, we ended up in a homeless shelter just to get away from him. It was five of us sharing a room just big enough for two bunk beds and a dresser. After three or four years living there, we finally moved out on our own, but money was just always tight. I don't have a college degree, but I looked into a job in the tech industry that I can support my family with. I know image and impressions are important to advancing my career, and that's honestly why I watch your videos. So thank you Alpha M for bringing back the Alpha M project. I'm really excited to even be a part of this process. Can you believe it gentlemen? The end of season four is upon us. Today we are meeting Nathan and quite frankly, I'm so excited I can hardly stand it because I feel we probably saved the best for last. I will see you in a second and give you a big hug. I'm the little dude in the suit. <laughs> okay. Okay, good, bye. His story's incredible. This is going to be a spectacular transformation. Nathan! <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you? Good. Great to see you. Say hey to everybody. Hello. You excited? Yes. Let me have this. Come on. Nathan, I am so glad you are here. Specifically, why are you laughing? Because of that last mess up, right? All right, guys. Nathan, I am so, like, this is what the Alpha M Project is all about. And I couldn't be more thrilled that you are the season finale, the closer, baby, which means that this episode is going, it needs to be, I'm relying on you to make it incredible. Nathan's story is one that, that I don't think many people can really understand, but it's something where it, it touched me. And talking to you a little bit more in the car and going into more detail that you don't actually disclose on your video, it's just like, it's amazing. First things first, tell a little bit about your story, if you, if you don't mind, whatever you feel comfortable sharing. So I grew up with a single mother most of my life. Shout out to Terry, by the way. You rock, single mothers are awesome. Love you, mom. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we never really had a lot of money growing up. Uh, we moved around, like I said, I've, I'm 27. I've moved 20 times in my life. Can you imagine, just think about that for a second. He's moved 20 times in 27 years. And three of those years or four of those years were actually spent in a- In a homeless shelter. Right, and so talk a little bit about, about that experience. So like I was telling Alpha in the car, um, one of the main things that uh, really got phone? to me. Yeah. Right, like, hey, Should I silence phone? it or? Right. Okay. Right, go ahead. Silence that bad boy. Okay. D just being a kid, like I couldn't really have friends because I couldn't ever have friends come over because I lived in a homeless shelter and um, my mom worked as much as she could to provide Three for jobs. us. Three jobs. Yeah. Three jobs. And so uh, she couldn't necessarily take me to friends' houses or whatever. And so, and so that was kind of hard. And then because we moved around so much and. I didn't change schools a whole lot, but enough to where it was hard to keep friends and that sort of a thing. You know, I can relate to a, on a very small degree. I mean, one of the things that is so remarkable about you, Nathan, and people that are survivors of bad situations is that you have two people, two types of people that go through bad things. And those who sort of internalize things and can never actually let go and forgive. And the other people are those that, that make a difference and decide that I'm going to be happy despite my bad situation. And so, you know, you are one of those people that as soon as I met you, you just radiate, you glow with this, this, this energy and just this, this, it's just incredible. And so I'm so excited to have you here. I'm so excited to have you be a part of this. Guys, you did good. You did real good having Nathan come. And so Nathan, all that aside, things are pretty good now, right? Yeah. 
And now just being married and having a kid and wanting to get into a house, that's been this whole past year has just been saving money, paying off debts. One of the one of the issues that I had and that a lot of people I think have, when you grow up without a lot of access to money, you never really learn those skills. It's not something that you just, you know, it's like, oh, I, you know, I'm, I'm good. It's like, I'm good with money now and I know what a budget is and I know that I shouldn't overcharge. And you don't learn that by other people. And, and so you're in a better position now. You're still having to be very thrifty though. Yeah. You've got a kid, you're married, you're trying to get into a house. And so the majority of your clothes, actually, let's save that to these outfits. Can we start here? Yes. Nathan, let's do this. All right, Nathan, talk to me about clothing. All right, where does it come from? Uh, the majority of my clothes came from Kohl's because I had a gift card there. Okay, <laughs> so what did you get? Um, I got these pants and these polos and these shoes. And you say these, <laughs> like there's more. Yep. Well, uh, let me start with this outfit. The color looks great on you. You've got dark complexion and quite frankly, you can wear everything well and it looks incredible. Khakis, they're a staple. You work in a professional environment, so you gotta look presentable. Is this your typical workday outfit? Absolutely, yeah. The shoes, all right, we can do better. They're size 13 though, right? Yeah. So we got to make sure that we can upgrade those. Um, we can definitely do better. The fit is not terrible. You know, you're a big dude. And so, you know, we're not going to get you in anything super slim, but I think we can definitely do better in terms of fit with the shirts and the pants. Let me see a, let's say a date outfit. This is work. Let's see a date outfit. So this is a date outfit. Yep. Very different than your work outfit. Yeah, gray and blue. <laughs> Tell them the story. So I had to be thrifty with my money and I needed outfits that could go across multiple things, mainly business. So yeah. I got this pair of slacks in five colors and then this polo in uh, I think 10 colors. Okay. Um, but sadly, they're all really close to this one. Okay. Which I didn't realize until I got them. So basically you've got Two, you've got like one shirt, you've got one pair of pants, one pair of shoes. I I have, I did bring two other pairs of shoes. Uh. You did? You also brought a pair of shorts. Yes. You have one pair of shorts. Yes. And I think I saw a belt. Yeah. Can we see those? Yeah. Let's see it. Something I would like to address and point out, first and foremost, that this has never happened. The sneakers, I think, are the exact same sneakers that Chris had in the last episode. They must be on sale. Uh, yeah, I got them on sale. <laughs> All right, hey, cool. Red sneaks are awesome. The black socks that we can definitely do better. The shorts, they're nice shorts. They're khaki shorts. These are your other options. You only have one pair of shorts? Yeah. And the polo, I, I love the color on you. Gray, <laughs> something different than red or the other colors that you have. But really, the story here is this belt. He brought this because this belt symbolizes your style and sort of your, your history, yeah. right? You've had this leather belt for a long time and one day the poor little guy just gave out. He said, Nathan, that's it. <laughs> but belts, oh, I got you covered with belts, my friend. I'll give those to you later. We are gonna have so much fun. I'm so excited because this shopping experience is really just all about you. It's all about treating yourself. You've already done some homework, right? He came, the first client, client, contestant to ever bring coupons. He's like, yo, Alpha, which I absolutely love. We know where we're going tomorrow, but we're gonna save it for tomorrow and them. Nathan, you ready to get out of here? I'm ready. I am so pumped, brother. We're gonna have a great time. Let's rock. We're at Dyer and Post Salon to get Nathan's hair done. Steven is slacking today, and so we have the pleasure to work with lovely Madison. What's happening? Great to see you. Good to see you. All right, so this hair, this incredible hair, so right? So great. What oh do you think? Oh my gosh, we can do so much with this. What do you think? Leave the length on tie. I love the length. I love the wave, the natural. I mean, it's just incredible. But what do you think? I'm thinking we definitely need to keep the length, texturize the top a little bit so that it doesn't seem as like bulky, but he has a little bit more like movement in there. Sure. And then taper the sides just to really anchor the top a lot more. Some product, something back off his face, right? Speaking of the face, once we're done the haircut, I'm gonna take care of that incredible beard of yours, all right? You ready to do this? Yes, I'm stoked. Let's do it.
man. I am so excited about today. Nathan has never had a shopping spree, right, Nathan? Right. So today we're going to absolutely have so much fun. Oh, it's so great. Madison, great job. Thank you so much. I got it from here. It's time to style. Gentlemen, check this out. What? Incredible, this hair, amazing. The beard, we tightened it up. You look like a new dude. What do you think? Thanks, Alpha, I love it. You love it? Yeah. Oh my God, I love it more than you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we're at Lenox Mall, and it is time to get down to business. We're only here for two stores specifically. Johnson Murphy for the feet because they have size 13, and we're going to Macy's because they've got the best selection of big and tall. There it is. Work it, work it, work it, Nathan. Ah, cool pair of slip-on fashion sneaks. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Boom, next pair. Four XL. This is just this is just way too long. Like unless you're tucking it in, it's just I mean it's coming down. It looks like a smock. We need a shorter shorter regular. I really think the selection here sucks. <laughs> so what do you think, DXL? Yeah, DXL. DXL baby. And we're back to where it all started with the Alpha M project. Episode number one with Big Boy Billy. We took him here. The name has changed. It used to be Casual Mail XL. Casual Mail XL. Now it's DXL, baby. Destination XL. And there is no better place in the universe for amazing clothes for big, amazing men. Let's do it. This store has everything. It is awesome. He's going to freak out. This place is the best. I am a sucker for green cargo shorts. There's something about them that's cool, they're useful, and they are awesome. Dark wash jeans, I hope he loves these because I do. One of the downsides to being a bigger dude is that the clothing costs more. And whenever you can find a deal, you've got to double down. And so we found shirts that are like 44 bucks when you buy two or more, so we're gonna see what we can find. And we're done, take this. We gotta, we gotta go pay for this. We gotta talk about the sponsors. <laughs> you bet, the sponsors are getting some love today. But before we talk about sponsors, what do you say, Nathan? Let them show you, where are you going? Back here, oh, no. it's my show, sit there. We're gonna show you the wardrobe that Nathan is going home with. Starting at the shoes. We are kicking things off with two pairs of great casual fashion sneaks from Johnson Murphy, a pair of black dress shoes we picked up at DXL, a great pair of Johnson Murphy slip-on loafers, and of course, mandatory double monks. This was a request, right, Nathan? Yeah. All right, so up here to pants. We got shorts, two pairs. We got chinos, three pairs. We've got slacks, the most comfortable, amazing slacks that Nathan's ever worn, right? Ever. Ever. We've also got Nathan a great pair of jeans, which he didn't own because? I only wear slacks and pillows. Because he didn't have any. Um, and they weren't all that comfortable. We also got a pair of black jeans. Are you kidding me? Dynamite and sexy. The shirts for days, short sleeve, long sleeve. We also got him some casual pullovers. We got him some uh, hoodies, two hoodies. Who doesn't love hoodies? We got him some, but I, I'm tired of talking. Nathan, the one thing you don't see here is belts. You're like, where, where, where are all the belts? Well, interesting thing. Nathan actually uh, emailed me. He's like, hey, what did you ask? The one thing that I wanted was ants and belts. I, I've i loved those belts. Ever You've researched them, you went online, but money's tight yeah. and you don't want to splurge on yourself. So I called my boys over at Ants and I said, guys, he wants Anson. Can we hook him up? And Anson stepped up. Hang on to this, brother. Some buckles, first outfit, let's see it. This is what the Alpha M Project is all about. This first look, Nathan, screams, get in here. Your sexy ass in here. Smart, casual, perfected. Oh my goodness, this look is 
ridiculous. Let's start at the feet. A pair of cool sort of, I don't even know what to call them other than amazing fashion sneaks. You got a pair of olive green chinos. The white Oxford underneath of this incredible Henley. What do you think? This is phenomenal. Seeing it all come together is just fantastic. It was so incredible look, watching you look at yourself in the mirror. It was like for the first time, like, what did you feel? Have you ever felt, what, what did you say? I just, I've, I don't dress like this. It's just, I will now, but it's just great. I, I feel great. It's, it's awesome. You look so incredible, but you also look incredible in this next outfit. Next one, baby. Like, I can hardly contain my happiness right now. Nathan, get in here. Ugh. Oh, it is incredible to see Nathan rocking this look so hard. It's ridiculous, my friend. Check it out. Down at the feet, we got a great pair of slip-on black shoes. Perfect, presentable, some incredibly comfortable slacks. How comfortable are those slacks? These are the most comfortable pants I've ever worn. All right, what about the jacket? Comfortable? Yep. Also stylish, and we throw it on with a great button-down plaid Oxford. What do you think of this look? It's a great professional look. I mean, I can see myself going to work in this. I can see you going to work in this, but we got something else that I cannot wait to let everybody see him rocking the suit. Nathan, outside. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Nathan, get in here. Just wait for it. What? Look how dynamite he looks. We found Nathan an incredible suit at KNG. The price of this? 120 bucks. The shoes, are you kidding? They were more expensive than the suit. All right, double monks, incredible. The medium blue to light blue suit, dangerous, edgy. The Glenn Platt, that's not, is that Glenn Platt? No, it's Gingham. Why do I keep saying Glenn Platt? Smack me, it's been a long day. Also, a great Kenneth Cole tie, finishing off with a white pocket square. What do you think, Nathan? I never thought I could look this good. I'm a classic man. You are a classic man. Now it's time, one more classic outfit with jeans. Great job. And the final outfit of season four is absolutely spectacular. Nathan, come on in and show them what confident, cool really looks like. What? <laughs> what do you think? This is great. I mean, I'm from Nebraska. This is a Nebraska look right here. It's, a, it's an everywhere look. It's an anywhere you want to be stylish look. The shoes, casual, cool, slip-on loafers. We've got a great pair of lucky jeans, dark wash, non-distressed, and this great navy white pattern shirt looks fantastic on you. You love it? I love it. This is actually one of my favorite shirts that we got, so. We got so many good shirts, though. Yeah. But now we gotta pay the bills, brother. You got gifts from our incredible sponsors. Are you ready? I'm you ready to get down? Yep. Let's do it. Season four of the Alpha M Project was made possible by five amazing sponsors. Got right there, exactly. Down in the description, there are links to every single product. There are also special offers, discount codes. Please, I beg you, if you want a season five, you gotta support the people that support us. They're amazing, all of these products were personal picks. I reached out to them individually and said, yo, I wanna do this, would you guys be up for it? And every single one of them believes in me, believes in you, and decided to step up and make this possible. Cause this, all this, isn't cheap. Starting off with number one, gentlemen. Here's the deal, it's Tej Hanley, which is what, Nathan? It's an investment in your future. That's right, our first sponsor is Tej Hanley. You may have heard of them, right? You may have read about them. They're all true, all the memes are true. Guys, Tej Hanley is an un, wait, you wanna say it again? Tej Hanley is an uncomplicated skincare system for men. We don't give you 2,700 products, we give you the essentials, the products that every guy needs in order to look great now, as well as in the future, forever. Nathan, you're gonna get a one year subscription to Tej Hanley. Guys, if you wanna treat yourself, your face, your handsomeness, and take it to the next level, not like here, I'm talking next level handsomeness. Boom, up there, I can't even reach how high. There's a link down below, there's also a discount code. Guys, go sign up and grab yourself some Tej today. K, K, and J. Gentlemen, I have talked about these boys on numerous occasions. They are shirt tail garters and quite possibly one of the greatest finds of this year for me. The deal is, shirts get untucked, right? You tuck it in, you're like, oh, I'm gonna be looking smooth. And you do for about 2.5 seconds. And then you move and your shirt comes untucked. 
KK and Jay says, yo, you can look smooth all the time. The military has been using shirt tail garters for years. I thought they were gonna be uncomfortable, right? When I first tried them, I'm like, oh my God, these things are incredible. Not only that, they improve your posture because when you put them on, you attach them to the front, to the back of your shirt, then to your socks. It keeps your socks up, your shirt nice and tucked. Now, if you're one of those dudes who rocks shoes sockless, no problem. They've got options for you as well. But KK and J sells more than just amazing shirt tail garters. They also sell dynamite suspenders. Guys, there's a link down below along with the code. I think there's a code or maybe just the link. You'll find it. The deal is they're giving them to you at an insane price, which is already pretty insane because they're only like 25 bucks. But for you, even better. Say it again. This is what I need right here. He's been talking about Thompson T this entire time. He's like, so I get Thompson T's. I'm like, yeah, you get Thompson T's. He's like, I've been really looking forward to the Thompson T's. <laughs> Nathan is an undershirt guy. And quite frankly, if you don't want to look like a sweaty savage, you should not only be an underwear, underwear, you should be an underwear guy too. Undershirt guy, you should be a Thompson T. Here's the deal. There is no better way to stop sweat in its tracks then by rocking a Thompson T. They've got something called Hydro Shield technology. The boys over at Thompson T were like, yo, I am sick and tired of wearing an undershirt. Only two seconds later, if I start sweating, for that sweat to pop through and to get sweat rings. Sweat rings, hear me when I say this, sweat rings are not only image and confidence killers, they're disgusting. Guys, Thompson T, every guy, in my opinion, should have one, possibly two, even three in their wardrobe. Guys, link below, grab a Thompson today. It's time for Vita Goods, baby. <laughs> Here's the deal. Guys, Vita Goods, they're bringing it strong. They're an incredible company. They've been around for a while and they've been an incredible partner for me. And I just appreciate them so much. I even more than that, appreciate the scale. It's a body fat analyzer scale. Here's the deal, I work out, you work out, and you're talking to me about starting to work out. That's one of the big things. Why are you doing it? Uh, for my son. He's gonna start working out, and one of the ways that he's going to know what's happening with his body, whether or not he's gaining muscle, or he's losing body fat, or a combination of both, is to grab a body fat analyzer scale. Well, you actually don't have to, because you're getting one for free. These things are normally like 125 bucks for you. Maybe more, I, they're, they're expensive normally. But for you guys, they're only like, 50 bucks? 50? Could it Whatever be? It I better look. <laughs> anyway, you hold on to this. Vita Goods, you can also find an amazing deal on a regularly priced Spin for Perfect Skin face scrubbing brush. This works on your face, so maybe we could. <laughs> Nathan got this huge zit like two days before he came. He's like, oh my God, of course. All right, you can also, this has an attachment for your back, for your body. You were telling me you have sensitive skin and sometimes break out on your back. These things are incredible. They work on two AA batteries. They're amazing. They help keep your skin looking fresh. And you, if you want one, and uh, of course you want to, there's a link down below. This is, it's the end of the season, man. I'm tired, right? But we got one more incredible sponsor. You are stylish. You are going to be even more stylish when you receive your one year subscription of my favorite monthly box service, the gentleman's box. In each box, you're gonna get four, six, possibly five men's lifestyle accessory items. You're gonna get accessories like socks, sometimes a cool tie, pocket square. They've always got a grooming product in there. It is ridiculous. You also get a one year subscription to GQ magazine. Each month you go to your mailbox. You're like, ooh, what did they send me this month? You pop it open and you see and you try it. It is an incredible way to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. And really the reason why I love getting this box every single month. But the deal is if you're like, yo, you go on their website and you start looking at some of these past boxes, you can actually buy some of the previous boxes. But for you, if you want to check it out, they're only normally $25. But for you, they're going to give you $10 off. The value of the stuff in here is like a hundred bucks. But for you, a discount because the gentleman's box is amazing. Guys, link below, treat yourself today. So it's still hard to believe that I'm actually in the Alpha M project. This whole process has just been so surreal from getting his phone call and being speechless on the phone. I'm a lot more vibrant than I was during that. 
And then actually coming out here, getting to meet Alpha, Christian, his dad, the driver, Peter, um, all of them have just been great. So I kept telling Alpha when we were trying on the different outfits, they were clothes that I wouldn't have pulled off the shelf, but then seeing them all together and just, they bring me to a whole nother level that I went from this to now this and only the sky's the limit from here. Um, I wanted to say a special thank you to the sponsors for making this video happen. It wouldn't, th this sort of thing wouldn't happen without them. And then thank you to all the people that voted for me, all my friends, family, people at my work, um, everywhere that voted for me. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's, I've just been extremely grateful and overwhelmed with all of their generosity. I personally think that was the perfect way to end season four. So what do you guys think? You want to do this again? Season five? Down in the comments, let me know and give this video a big thumbs up. Gentlemen, I'll see you next season. There's something really exciting. Ready, here we go, keep going. Time that we sort of did something special. Ready, keep going, keep going, keep going. Touching and heartwarming, like, I'm <laughs> There's Nathan. <laughs> Nathan? I'm supposed to walk like a badass. Right? You're a bad, badass. He's walking like a badass. <laughs> that'll be it. That'll be tomorrow. <laughs> and what's up? <laughs> what's your name? Hey, Larnell. Man. Larnell, it's yeah, great yeah, to yeah, meet you. It's yeah, Christian, yeah. Nathan. Roman. This yeah, yeah, look yeah, at that man. right this there. The guy, this the guy right here, man. Thanks, good man. See you, man. Good All to right, see you. All right. See you. It's already a good day. <laughs> you cannot, I mean, this is your opportunity to splurge on yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> What's up, Kelly? Tej Hanley <laughs> interferes with the Alpev project. <laughs> they don't look like cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Really nice cowboy. Bite your tongue, yes. I. Not that there's anything wrong with cowboy boots, but these do not look like cowboy boots. Nathan. <laughs> That didn't work so well. <laughs> right there. <And> yeah. <laughs> Remember how excited I was about those cargo shorts? I was wrong. <laughs>